The measure tool is an extremely handy tool built into Lightburn that provides a breakdown of details on any shape or path in your workspace. While there are countless uses for the measure tool, it's especially helpful when you're designing functional parts or ones that will be cut out and mated with another piece and need a way to view or verify the dimensions of a design element. To activate the measure tool, click on the ruler icon in the left toolbar. When you do, the measurement window will open, which is where information will be displayed while we use this tool. Depending on your design and how zoomed in you are, you may need to click on the top of this window and drag it to reposition it off to the side. Hover your mouse over any shape, line, or curve in your workspace to have the measurement window display information about it. The shape currently being displayed automatically highlights in green, and the segment of the shape that the cursor is hovering over displays in purple. This helps you verify that the info displayed is for the section of a shape you intended. In addition to hovering over a segment or shape, you can click, hold, and drag between any two points in your workspace to display information on a temporary line created between those points. You can snap to a shape or node on a shape or click anywhere in your workspace, even if no shape is present. Holding shift while dragging locks the temporary line to the nearest horizontal, vertical, or 45 degree angle. The temporary line disappears when you release the mouse, so be sure to check the measurement window before doing so. Let's run through this window to get a breakdown of the various parameters it provides. Nodes, lines, and curves gives you the total count of each of these found in the current highlighted object. Perimeter length is the distance around the outside perimeter of a highlighted shape. In the case of paths that do not form a complete loop, it is the total length of the path. Width and height show the object's maximum span in the X and Y dimensions. The closed open section tells you whether your highlighted object is an open or closed shape. Certain features such as fill mode require a shape to be closed. So this is a quick way to verify the shape you thought was closed actually is. For more information on open versus closed shapes, check out our video linked in the description. Area gives you the total area of a closed shape. This value shows zero for any open shape. Segment length is the length of the specific segment your mouse is over that's highlighted in purple. This can be the side of a shape, a curve, or line segment between two nodes. Start point and end point tell you the X and Y coordinates of each respective node in the highlighted segment. Difference shows you the difference in X and Y between the start and end nodes. Angle is the angle of the line between the start and end points. And finally, arc radius and arc center tell you the radius and center point of an arc if the highlighted curve is a true circular arc, otherwise it remains empty. Click on the button displaying the active unit of measurement to toggle between inches and millimeters. When you're done using this tool, click OK in the measurement window to close out of it and return to the selection tool. Now you know what the measure tool is and how to use it to verify that the shape or segment in your design matches expectations. Check out our documentation for more information on this tool and be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.